students welcome to smart engineering tutorials so today i am going to discuss how to calculate the thickness of the depletion region let's say the thickness to be as xt so as we talked and discussed in our last video that when we apply a small gate voltage a positive small gate voltage what happens the holes they move away from the surface surface is what the interface where the oxide layer and the substrate layer meet so this is called the surface so when a small positive gate voltage is applied then it pushes away the holes away from the surface and leaving behind a depletion region where there are no mobile charge carriers so whenever the hole moves away it leaves behind a negatively charged acceptor ion so we will use this principle to calculate the thickness of say xd thickness of this depletion region so for this we'll also assume that this is the surface or the interface and in perpendicular direction to this let's say this surface or the interface as a zero point or the zero uh, x means zero point it is and uh, perpendicular to this surface is the x axis and in this direction of the x axis we have this width xd of the uh, this depletion region so we have to calculate this xd uh, thickness this xd so we will be calculating this thickness as a function of the surface potential phi s this phi s or the surface potential was discussed in the previous lecture so the vlsi you can just check through them so let's assume that the mobile hole charge present in a thin horizontal layer parallel to the surface s since it is a small horizontal layer so we say the charge is also very small dq and what the, uh, do we mean by this thin horizontal layer actually we are saying that let's assume there is a a thin horizontal layer parallel to this surface or the interface and let's say the thickness of this uh, thin horizontal layer is dx for any small thing uh, which we try to calculate in by using maths we use dx and since thickness is small dx the charge present in that uh, region is also small that is termed as dq and in that very region which is of thickness small thickness dx let's say the number of holes which have moved away it's uh, it will be equal to the number of acceptor ions because if one ex, uh, hole moves away it leaves behind one acceptor negatively charged acceptor ion so let's say the number of uh, holes moved away is equal to the number of uh, acceptor ions there so it is na and since it is negatively charged it is having a minus sign and the charge present due to the movement of this hole is equal to that of an electronic charge and so we have taken this q so this small charge present in the thin uh, depletion region or a thin horizontal layer parallel to this surface is dq and it is minus q n a into dx let's take this as equation number one now if you want this charge to be displaced by distance xd in away from the surface that means if you want the charge dq the small positive uh, sorry the small charge dq which is minus q and a dx we want to displace this in a direction away from the surface by how much distance xd xd is the thickness of the uh, depletion region if you want to displace this then what we uh, require we require a change in the surface potential because only then this charge can be displaced from this region for that we need a poisson equation from mans to calculate the change in surface potential which is required to displace this charge dq 
by how much distance x t so how we calculate this let's say the change in surface potential is d phi s since we are talking very small things so again d differential thing d phi s is equals to away from the uh, surface so minus and in which uh, direction in the x axis direction so minus x and the charge which is displaced is dq divided by the permittivity of the silicon substrate so if we put the value of dq we get q na x dx upon epsilon si minus minus we get plus so this is the second equation which we have obtained from the poison equation and now what we are going to do we are going to integrate this equation number 2 which is the uh, relation between change in surface potential and the dx that is the uh, small distance which we calculate the width of the depression layer the or the horizontal layer parallel to the surface dx so this equation is going to be integrated in a direction perpendicular to the surface that is in this direction so perpendicular direction if we say say zero point is here at the reference line that is the interface or the surface and in the perpendicular direction is the x axis so we integrate it for d phi s we have to cal uh, integrate it from phi f to phi s phi f is the fermi potential of the bulk and this is has to be integrated to reach the surface potential value phi s and in here in this uh, side of the equation what we do q n a x upon epsilon si and dx and in the direction of x that is perpendicular to the uh, surface what from it is has to be integrated from 0 because at the surface we have taken at the as the 0 or the reference line so 0 to x d because the thickness of the depletion layer is x d so after calculating this what we get phi s minus phi f is equals to q n a x d square upon 2 epsilon s i and from here we can calculate the depth of the depletion region that is the x d it is equals to under root 2 epsilon s i mod of phi s minus phi f upon q n a now since the holes have been moved away leaving behind a negatively charged acceptor ions in the depletion region so if you now we want to calculate the total charge present in the depletion region that is the charge density in the depletion region is actually q is equals to minus q n a and now we have calculated the depth of the depletion region that is x d and we will substitute this value of x d here. So after substituting uh, what we have obtained q is equals to minus under root 2 q n a epsilon s i and mod phi s minus phi f this is the third equation you just uh, do in the rough and see that while after substituting this x d we'll get this equation now when we increase the uh, value of vg vg is the gate voltage applied at the gate terminal if we increase it further since it is positive gate voltage we increase it further what it will do it will further uh, uh, pull up uh, means it will push away the holes but it is uh, strong so what it will do it will attract and pull the electrons present in the bulk and bring them to the surface so what will happen which, are, which we have already discussed the electrons present in the bulk will move and come and get collected at the surface of the interface resulting in a negative uh, layer since it is a negative layer layer of electrons so we say this phenomena as surface inversion we have applied a positive gate voltage we are getting a reverse polarity uh, region here just below the surface so here in this region it is behaving like an n type uh, n type uh, n type semiconductor so we call this principle as surface inversion so when surface inversion takes place what happens the density of the mobile electrons at the surface they become concentrated here and we say that the the density of the mobile electrons on the surface it becomes equal to the density of holes in the bulk that is in the p type substrate 
So at this point of time when the surface inversion takes place here actually what happens to the surface potential the condition required for this is that the phi s that is the surface potential becomes equal in magnitude to the Fermi potential of the bulk but with the reverse polarity because it is uh, due to the electrons. So phi s becomes equal to minus phi f. Now at the onset of surface inversion if we further try to increase or if we increase actually the Vg positive potential this will not uh, further increase the depth of the depletion layer but it will actually increase the number of electrons. So any increase in Vg will lead to increase in number of electrons at surface but Xd will not increase. So we say that the at the onset of surface inversion we achieve the maximum width of the depletion layer and we term it as Xdm and for this uh, to be calculated what we do we will use that previous equation which we have found but the only thing is that what we will do phi s is equals to minus phi f will be substituted in it. So you just put in the value and you will get xdm equals to under root 2 epsilon si mod 2 phi f because inside mod it was phi s minus phi f and that phi s is equals to minus phi f so and since it is mod that minus sign it vanishes and becomes mod of 2 phi f divided by q and a. So this creation of conducting surface inversion layer by externally applied Vg is essential for current conduction in MOS transistor. So uh, a numerical usually comes on this so you should remember the maximum width condition as well as how to calculate the normal depletion region width and with this I think it's very clear from here and in my next video we'll be discussing about the working of MOS transistor. Till then thank you and share and subscribe to my channel.